Now, see, Kayla, you dealing with the devil. See what the devil got you doing. He got you breaking into people's house, searching people's stuff, looking through people's personal business just to find something on Kay. I want to know, is it worth it, Kayla? Is it really worth it dealing with the devil? That's all I want to know. Will you explain that one to me, and then I might give you my answer. But yeah, you're going to end up in jail fucking around with um um Stephanie. You better get out while you still breathing. Okay, piggybacking off of yesterday. Chad want to run for CEO of Titan. He got booted out of his own company name, so now he want to run for Titan, which could probably work in his favor if you think about it. Sonny, him friend, somebody that got a little reputation, not really a bad one. He a Demira, but he don't act like a Demira. Um, I think that can work out for him pretty good, I think. If um Victor agree to do it, if Victor agree to um allow him to do it, he'll be good. But yeah, you got to get through Victor first, and good luck trying to sell that one. Oh, so she did actually call her mama. She said I'm fine. Um, the mama asked where she was going. Now she don't want to answer. Like I said in my video, what I was recording yesterday, this runaway syndrome, hoping her, hoping her daughter guy, this syndrome way every time something go, um, something don't go their way, and or they're in some trouble or a little bit of danger, or I guess somebody getting too close to them, they have this runaway syndrome shit where they run for their lives. Like I said, um, Sierra. That's all of your fault, that accident, because you caught the runaway syndrome, as I call it. Um, yeah, that was fucked up, tripping Claire on the um, sofa. Yeah, trip, that's half of your fault. Um, you deserve the guilt for that. The guilt for that. Um, but yeah, Sierra, you got the runaway syndrome like just like your mama. Every time, like you could have told that like none of this didn't have to happen. I still see that you falling in love with being already. You want to make him what? Not that much got 24 hours yet and you already in love and don't want him to leave you. You enjoying being around him, his company. I was I was wondering when he bought that charger yesterday, he said, I bought the charger for your phone where you can go. If you want to use the phone, here it go. Let it charge, you can use it. I'm surprised you actually called your mama because you said yesterday that you didn't want to go um, face the real world um for a while. You don't want to see Triple Claire. So you said you want to stay up here for a while. So I'm actually glad you did call your mama for your mama can stop being a little worried about you. You finally did something good. Is it just me or uh, oh, oh so all you little fuckers are doing this lawsuit wrong. So Victor don't want Chad to run tight in Sonny not giving him no, giving um Leo no lawsuit, but Victor want to give him a lawsuit all of us. Lord, my camera freezing up, and Sonny want to get. I mean, Victor want to give us um Leo a, a um a, a settlement all of a sudden. Are you fucking serious? So I can come out and say you sexual molest, not sexual man. That's right. You sexual harass me, set me up. We already fell in love with each other. You probably fell harder than I did from you. We had sex. You made it seem like I sexual harassed you and made you forcibly have sex with me. Now I complain, go to the media, give, give a little bit of attention, and we throw money at it to make it go away. 
Victor, you're throwing your money in the wrong direction, buddy. Just like he did this, you're going to have many more come behind him doing the same stuff again and again that you just throwing money at the problem. You need to be throwing that money at a good lawyer. That's what the fuck you need to be throwing that money to. Not to the person that's sitting up here lying. Got your company to start going down, giving y'all name a bad reputation, making Sonny get a bad reputation, and throwing money at the said vet that throwing money at the said person that came up with these false lies. What kind of BS is that then pissed me all the way off talking about a set of men. Once he accepts the set of men, the little weasel will go away and everything will be all right. So now we paying people for telling lies on us now. Oh, okay. Nice way to handle business, Victor. I see why your stock. I see why your stocks. Um, your stocks stay falling down to the ground. Keep on getting lower and lower. I understand now, cause you do some dumb shit like that. I go down too. Whoa. -oh. So, Kayla, you caught now. One thing you got to do, Kayla. When you going and breaking the two people shit, when you snooping around for clues or trying to find something to get turned on um, to use against the, the said person, make sure you don't get caught, sweetheart. Just make sure you don't get caught. That's the number one golden rule. If you're going to be sneaky and sly, you got to make sure your ass don't get caught. She's sitting up there at the door smiling at your ass and... You know what? I read the caption. Kayla gonna cuss you out. You deserve it for getting caught. If you gonna do this and do what the devil tell you to do, you got to make sure you be sneaking now. Now that you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You dating a P.I. You got a P.I. as a husband and you ain't pick up any skills from him yet? On uh, how to be... Okay. Kayla, you get what you deserve at this point. Whoa! -oh. See, you ungrateful little twit. Did you really have to throw Kayla like that in front of her husband? Did you really have to throw her under the bus? I heard about your eye. I'm not interested. Do your wife feel the same? If that's any way to talk to somebody that's going to help you get your vision back, like, really, bitch? Really? Mm-hmm. And Kayla, you didn't got caught by Kay. Steph and about to expose your ass for working behind um Steve back trying to help you get your vision back. I still wanna know if you do I still wanna know if you do plan on and succeed on getting this eye from Stephen or buying this eye from Stephen. How the fuck you gonna have um how the fuck you gonna let Stephen in Stephen? How the hell you gonna let Steve well not let how the hell you gonna let Steve agree to put it in his eyes? Put it in his eye socket. He used the eye. Nine out of ten, once he find out where it come from, he going to be mad at your ass for going along with it. Two, he going to be mad at you that you even agreed to go along with this devil. Three, he going to, yeah, he going to be mad at you and he have every right to, Kayla, because I told you to leave this thing alone. You want your husband to have his vision bad. I guess you said, well, I guess you feel grateful when you lost your hearing. And he kind of was there for you, and I'm guessing he might have helped you got your hearing back. So I'm guessing now you want to pay the prize back for him and help him get his vision back. Is that what it was? Because I ain't see back then. That's what it is. He helped her get her um, hearing back. So now she's trying to help him get his eye back. I'm pretty sure it is. It sounds about right. Or whatever motive you got going in your head, I guess, Kayla. Oh, so we gonna use our budget as uh, budget as an excuse. Oh, I just needed a pen. You know what these budgets are do. We got to get paid. You know. Um, you care to sign? Help me find a pen, cause I've been looking. Um, I couldn't find a pen. Where you keep your pens at, lady? Oh, okay. Well, at least you did get something for um for Mother Steve. At least how to be not, at least. Uh, at least you did get something out of Steve. You know how to lie on point. I would give you that one though, Kayla. Oh my gosh. Justin is Oh, Justin. Is that you? Trying to crack the case already? Not Justin cracking the case. Oh shit. 
I think Justin ain't got a little smart on the show. He cracking cases. Who got a grudge against us? It's a woman, of course. Now we trying to figure out who the... Uh, go ahead, Justin. You know what I ain't even watching? You know what? If you figure out who it is, Justin, I'm going to be your friend for the rest of this year. Well, I'm going to try to be your friend for the rest of this year. I'm going to try to be your best friend. If you figure out this case, if you figure out the connection between him and Kay, um, Justin, man, you got to go out for lunch and have a good time or something because you didn't got a little smart all of a sudden. And I'm wondering what the hell you been eating because you ain't never been this damn smart. Justin, please figure it out. I dare you. I'm ready to be your friend again. Well, I've been your friend. You just get on my nerves sometimes. Justin, figure it out. Please help us. Help us all. Help us. Because Victor want to give people settlement money for lies. Please stop this settlement BS. And Victor, you ought to know better. You ought to know exactly what that means, throwing money at that boy. The fact that a young, uh, the fact that your young grandson got to explain this to you on what's going on here. So that means you don't have, you know what, Vic, I'm not going there with you. I already said you was on smart. I don't know how you started a whole damn. You know what, Vic, I'm not going there with you. I'm not in the mood for you today. Because I know you thinking with a, a thieve old brain right now. And you know what? You just told Sonny everything he need to know about you, that you don't trust him, a problem occurred, you throwing money at the problem like all you rich people do, throw money at your damn problems, and it'll go away. Maybe something else will happen to somebody else. Maybe we'll get washed under the water, and somebody else will be big time news. Mm-hmm. Sonny, you got to be a big fool. When all get restored at Titan, the wannabe CEO of a company, your grandfather don't even much got faith in you. He already throw money at a problem besides solving the problem. Mm. You have fun with that when you'll be leaving too soon or later or be tired of Titan too. So that's messed up, but it's Victor. And here we go with this syndrome. I'm just going to name this syndrome. I'm going to make it a thing. This called the runaway syndrome. Here she go talking about if she happy with her life. Now she running away from her problems. Not facing them home. Not facing them um, straight up. Sounds familiar, sounds, sounds familiar to somebody else. Her mama does the same thing. Hope. Runs away from her problems. Don't want to face her problems. Besides facing her divorce head on. She ran to Hong Kong or her husband cheating on her. She ran to Hong Kong, signed the divorce papers, tried to hand them back to rave. Now the daughter running away from her problems. The runaway syndrome. I wonder if that's a real thing. You know what? I'm going to Google it. Because these two are clearly have a big dose of it, a big case of it. So I'm going to look that up right now on Google and see if it's a real thing. Because they got it. Oh my gosh, it's a thing. I kid you not. It is an actual thing. It's... Oh my Gosh, it is a thing. The runaway syndrome is a thing. Oh, I can't you not. I can't you not. Oh, so that's why that, mm, you know what? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Not even much a little bit because they got a big old dose of it. You know what? At least days right as is getting the symptoms right because they shut mm, that made my day. Whoa, Justin, you're getting warmer. Even though she did, you're getting warmer. Keep on, Justin. I got a feeling about the time this episode in, man, you're going to be the bestest buddies ever. I, um, the bestest buddies ever. I mean, you got Viv in. Go ahead. Okay, Justin. Justin took his smart pill today or something. So smart water. What was it, Justin? Because you took something that's making you all this smart. 
So this little dirty fuck up here trying to get more money. Whatever they offered, I forgot how much it was. He turned it down. So I'm guessing you really trying to own. Mm -hmm. So you trying to get caught Kate in the CEO suit. Mm -hmm. Leo, you better start dreaming big. Because what, what I read in the spoilers, Kate only going to be on this plan for a little while. Not too long, cause something else gonna take her attention. You gonna take over. You gonna do a shitty job like you started off doing a shitty job. So, Leo, you better take the money around and stop being fucking greedy. If they agree to give you another set, well, they fit to fight now, so you fit to lose. So, it was nice knowing you, Leo. You better hope Victor don't have you go out in the back and have you killed for taking his family through this stress and, and messing up his company. Stephen, you know what? After getting your ass stomped, your face still messed up. You still walk around here with them same scars on your face. You know what? I wouldn't have said, you know what? I gave you a hard time. I kind of didn't like your little pervert ass. You know, I think you might have learned your lesson. Now you finally got it. Just when I was about to give you that benefit of a doubt, you went and done some other sneaky, some sneaky slimy shit like that when it came to step. Oh, so now you're trying to tell this man how to be grateful to his wife. Right. Mm-hmm. Just like you like to take care of like the um take care of mentally ill people and take advantage of them. Now you're trying to tell somebody else how to be a snake like you when it comes to taking care of people. No fucking thank you, Stephen. And I thought you would have learned your lesson. No uh, rocking them scars still on your face. Yep, you still ain't learned your damn lesson. You're still arrogant and cocky as the other. Face fucked up and you're still talking shit. I guess you're going to be happy till your head get cut off or something. Kay, 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 Kay. Calm your ass down. Calm your ass down. down. You ain't got that type of money. You ain't even much got enough money. I don't, you got enough to go to court. I would give you that. But as for playing this, start dragging it out in court year after year, month after month. Can't you ain't got that type of damn money. Well, what bank you robbed to have money like that? Kiriak is money long. You know this. Your money like this. Now how the fuck your little money can keep, can keep something dragging in court over somebody long money? And yeah, that little ass for that what you just said. Keep on playing with it, running through, running through it, running through it with court. See not y'all calling yourself, letting it play out. Let it let it take its process in court. All that you talking about doing. Then when the stock um go down, a uh, quick CEO will change that. Any CEO will change that. So can't you talking out your ass now? You talking out your ass and you doing a lot of wishful thinking. I'm so glad you ain't go through it all with this plan. And I'm so glad you left this plan alone and left Leo out there in the cold and the rain and left this bullshit alone. Cause push come to shove and fighting in court. Can't you ain't got that type of money. I don't give a damn if you go raw Salem Bank in or a Salem Bank of America. I don't care what bank you go rob. You still wouldn't have that type of money to pay this out in court over years or over months. You might last one or two months. You'll go broke before Victor them do. So how the hell you going to pay this out? Vic, K, stop playing with yourself. Now, I hope I understand you miss your daughter. You love your daughter. Your daughter is a sport, Brad. You got it that way. You ain't bold. That girl is grown now. I know you ain't doing all this crying now. Over. Come on now, ho. You really feel to lose your mind over your daughter. She didn't call you. She didn't have to call you. Now you just being dramatic. Really, ho? That's what we doing? Oh, okay. You entitled to your feelings. It's your child. Your child didn't call you and told you she all right. She ain't coming home. She said, don't track that phone. Burner phones can still be traced, so why she end up finding your ass? So, you better enjoy being while you still can before you fall in love with him, seeing him with his shirt off looking at him. 
You have fun with being while you still can. So, wait, wait. Can't you just told me how insecure your ass really is. Like, really, girl? You need time to make yourself feel bad. You that low self-esteem. You that low self-esteem. Okay. I always knew you had a little insecurities to your ass. I didn't know it run that damn deep that you need time to make yourself feel even... Oh, oh. Can't you need to go talk to your friend Marlena? Your friends, I'm pretty sure she can give you like some discounts on some on some on psychiatry help. You need to go talk to somebody. If a company gonna make you feel good about yourself, Marlena is your best friend. Why don't you go get you some free sessions or something? Cause you damn sure need me. If you, Lord Jesus, help. Okay, I have no words for you. Um. Chad, I understand you hurt. I understand Stephen took advantage of your wife, raped her, took full advantage of her, knew what the hell was going on with your wife this whole entire time, didn't tell nobody. She knocked out two other people out of her, had them going around causing hell. For you to want to use somebody else's company to get back at Stephen and... You must not read Stephen Resume. Stephen Resume is grown. He does this type of shit for a living. You, on the other hand, you just not getting your foot wet in the business world. Tell me again how your little amateur ass gonna take down a, a veteran and stealing people's companies and all that from under them. Please tell me again how you plan on doing this, amateur. This man record proved that he's a pro at this. This not gonna be his first nor last night, last company he ever gonna steal for under somebody. And you mean to tell me you wanna use somebody else's company to take him? Okay, you have fun with that, Chad. I guess whatever floats your boat. If you feeling froggy, go ahead and jump. I guess. Well, Kayla, if you were looking for some dirt, there you go. Kate behind this sexual harassment suit, which means you got Kate exactly the way you want her, which means you can also get her back and sit Stephanie ass down with the news that can take down Kate. So, if you're going to run with it, is you going to try to... Um, Kayla, I don't know what the hell you doing, but okay, go on ahead and use this information, I guess. Oh, so Victor actually went along with this plan that actually helped well let Chad help himself by getting Stephanie ass out of his company and getting back in revenge because what Ste what Stephen done to his wife. So Victor actually went along on time. Victor, you're a bastard, but I see you changing, so I'm gonna give you a slide, I guess. This plan gonna go horrible, horrible wrong for um Katie and her love plan. Now I can understand why she backed the hell out of it. Kyle, I'm pretty sure she don't want to go against Chad just to get this tight in, to get tight in, for she can feel good about herself still in somebody else's company. Now it makes sense why Kate backed out of this plan now. Anyways, though, y'all, let's talk about it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.